Hi there. Just finished editing the latest blog titled Financing uh, Your Rental Property. I've uploaded it to forthelandlords.com on the blog section. If you go to the description in the um, the video there, you can you can it'll take you through to there. But I'll talk talk you through it a little bit as well. I think it's just nice to sometimes have something to read. So we're starting to put a blog together. It's the, it's a good way to put this kind of information. Um, you know, bullet points, lists, you know, calculations, actually written down. This is how you work that out. It's that kind of thing. So. Um, yeah, the the uh, idea of financing and refinancing uh, a, a property is key. You know, it's it's <laughs> is it number one priority? It's certainly the thing that I do the most of. You know, I've spoken to my broker today six times on email. Um, you know, I seem to be constantly doing these things. Having a good broker keeps things um, spinning well, keeps things running smoothly, keeps things growing. Um, so. Um, yeah, financing and refinance, that's what the blog's about. Now, first things first, I'll put it at the top of the blog, you'd expect me to say, you know, we can't give financial advice, and I would hope that nobody's trying to get financial advice from a guy on YouTube on the internet. You need to speak to a good mortgage broker, find one. Um, but there's some really cool things that we can uh, talk about and help you out with, and things to qu questions to, to ask a broker when you go see them. Um, so yeah, what do we put in there? Um, you know, cash or mortgage is a big question. You know, where do I get my deposit? How much? Um, what, what, what's the difference between this and that and uh, different products, uh, different loan to values? Um, all those kind of comparisons we, we talked about there and a cash versus a mortgage uh, example as well. There's a worked example of leverage. And I'll tell you now, I forgot, I forgot to put it in the blog actually. It's, it's going to be published now, so I, I won't add it. But when you're looking at the, um, you know, how much faster a certain amount of leverage, you know, put, putting leverage into a portfolio will make things go faster and you know, vary the, 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 the level of faster or slower. But some leverage will make things go faster. What I didn't mention is the opportunity cost. You know, having a finance and refinance strategy, uh, having that 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 um, all, all sort of nailed down and, and working for you, will allow you to buy the next property, the next property, the next property. So don't just concentrate on what it's doing for this property here. That will allow me to buy number one, two, three. And as you gross that up, as you go through the years, you'll end up with a much bigger property portfolio and the capital growth and the income acting on all of those extra properties that you wouldn't have bought. So that's always a consideration as well. I didn't mention it in the blog, but um, yeah, there's lots, plenty of other good stuff in there as well. Um, I talked about the rent to loan cover, that's something that uh, we get a lot of questions about. So there's a reasonably detailed explanation there in the blog. Um, calculation of affordability. So actually you can work through through there and say that if this, then that, and you know, you you, you got your, 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 your five times, your um, uh, one hundred twenty-five percent of the rent, all those kind of things. So you see, it five percent payable. So there's that and going there in the blog. Talked a bit about bridging finance. Yeah, bridging finance is essentially just a mortgage. A lot of lots of misconceptions around bridging finance. It's pretty straightforward when it really comes to it. Um, it's more expensive than a normal mortgage. However, it's short term, and when you're going into a mortgage short term, there are other costs. You know, in and out early repayment charges, all those kind of things. So sometimes bridging, even though it looks quite expensive, can work out relatively cheap compared, yeah, you know, still maybe you know, slightly more expensive than a mortgage. Um, but it will allow you to buy the kind of houses that you just couldn't buy with a mortgage, they're unmortgageable. So the kind of houses that would normally need uh, need cash. Uh, talked a bit about risk, yeah, it's always worth talking about when talking about uh, financing. Um, you know, diff everybody has a different level and, 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 and strategy and, and, and uh, thoughts around risk. Um, I think it's always worth really you know, exploring that with, with a broker, with, um, um, with, with, with your own you know, written down strategy on a spreadsheet and actually work out you know, how much of that is a risk. I've always said, you know, it's, um, a, a, a risk is, is, I don't see a risk in a lot of the things I do. Some of them are risky when you know, going towards the extremes. Um, but when you put it against a backdrop of there's only oh, so many you know, hundreds or so properties sat there, one or two little risks, actually when you stick it all together, you've got to see the whole, you know, put the whole big spreadsheet together, one or two little risks here, sort of, you know, that might be quite risky, but if you put it against this backdrop over here, it mitigates it. Um, so it's worth having all those things in front of you and considering them in the round, if you like. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, talked about limited companies, buying in limited companies, something that's coming uh, more um, 
prevalent these days. You know, people are doing it more. Uh, Section 24 tax would probably be the main reason for buying an A or uh, a limited company. But we also talk about Section 24 tax and tax in general, you know, getting good um, financial advice and, and, and tax. You know, you've obviously plenty of landlords get, get it all right and then have a really big tax bill, which was kind of unnecessary. You know, but for a few um, relatively minor and, uh, and technical changes, you know, find, sign a few bits of paper here and there and, and off you go. Now, getting a limited company mortgage is... Well, it's got to be, it's, it is more difficult, but it's not that much more difficult. And it's you know if if, if you haven't had a money, uh, experience of getting a limited company mortgage, well you'll never know any difference. But if you have, you know, ten years ago, five years ago, it's very different now. It's got a lot, lot more mainstream. So, um, and finally at the end of this, and uh, I can't believe she agreed to do it, but I did ask. Um, I've got the opportunity to book a call with my broker. You know, I think the 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 first call port of call for. I don't know, 75, 80% of the clients that I speak to, you know, great idea, blah, blah, blah. I'd like to go ahead. What do I do now? Go see a mortgage broker is you know, a high, high, you know, high 70, 80, maybe more percent of uh, uh, clients or, or landlords that I, I see. Um, you know, the first port of call is to get the, the finances in order. You know, they're, they're refinancing something. They want to talk about, you know, even if I've got a pot of cash. I'm going to buy this in cash. Can I get off the other end? This is the obvious question, isn't it? Uh, and the, the only person that's really going to be able to answer those questions for you is a good mortgage broker. I've got one. I am um, uh, completely independent to us, but our business relies on having a good working relationship with a mortgage broker. And I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this one. Um, knowing that it's the first port of call for lots of people, um, I asked... Charlotte said, yeah, would it be okay if I offered this? Um, there is, you know, you're going to need to click the link and go through and fill in a form because, you know, otherwise there will be you know, 10,000 people from YouTube doing it. But, you know, if, you, if you're if you know, that, that close that you've bothered to send in the link and, and, and send it through, we know you're reasonably serious. And it's only like Charlotte picking up the phone to any inquiry. She's got a little bit of capacity to do it. I've checked. Um, and she's just taken on another, uh, another couple of admin staff, uh, not just for this, but, you know, she said, you yeah, know, we can cope with this, basically. So um, let's see how it goes. If you click in the link not only can you go to the blog read through that you can also go to another page where you can put in your details and book a consultation with with, with my personal mortgage broker um, the same link is repeated at the bottom of the blog so you know, if you want to read that first and click on it and uh, book you in so uh, you know that's uh, just I'm doing a little bit of a favor for, for her as well and um, for Charlotte as well but also I, yeah, I'd recommend, like I say, I use it myself. And it is the first port of call. If you come to see us on a discovery day, yeah, eight, nine times out of ten, put you in touch with a mortgage broker if you haven't got one yourself. So hopefully um, yeah, we're useful for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy reading the blog. Get that all posted and stuck online now and all the links will be working before it goes live. Um, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the uh, in the video below. Bye for now.